Hi, I'm Tom Randall from Sony Ericsson and I'm the Account Training Manager for Carphone Warehouse and I'm also the Project Manager for this new Sony United unit. We're really excited about this refresh, you will find this coming into your stores very soon and this video is just to take you through and demonstrate to you the brand new products such as the Xperia X10, the Blasis Vio, the Blasis Bravia and also our latest stereo Bluetooth headset, the MW600. So we're going to be taking you through these products, how they talk to each other and how the demo stand works. So this new and improved Sony United stand, how it all works, it uses the latest UPnP technology which stands for Universal Plug and Play. Now most devices that use this technology will carry a DLNA certification. You'll see this logo on most products. So what this means is that products can connect to your normal home domestic wireless router to create a home network. So devices can share media content from one to another, such as we have on our demo stand. We have the Xperia X10, which has an amazing 8.1 megapixel camera. Any photographs taken on the camera will then be shared to other devices such as your Vio, which is then also connected to your Bravia TV. And how this is done is inside our demo stand we have a router hidden on board. Now this router connects up the X10, the Vio and the TV all together in our own home network. So next I'm going to take you through some step-by-step -step demos of how this all works, how we would share our photographs from the X10 to our Vio laptop and also how we use the uh, MW600 stereo Bluetooth headset. So first of all I'm going to show you the X10 and how we share our photos taken on the amazing 8.1 megapixel camera with our home network which is inbuilt here on this Sony United stand. So first of all, for those of you who are not familiar with the Xperia X10, we've got Mediascape which has been specifically designed for Sony Ericsson handsets for browsing our online and offline photographs that takes advantage of obviously the touch interface of the camera and if we go back you can see the automatic face recognition kicking in there it will automatically tag up five of your friends in photographs themselves but we're going to go back out and take a photo now because in store this is maybe a good way for you guys to demo it so if we just go to the camera just like any other Sony Ericsson camera phone we just push and hold the camera button and this will bring up the camera menu now on this demo stand it's important to remember that we have it in the right megapixel because you can easily change the megapixel down to a 2 meg or a 2 meg widescreen so we want to make sure it's in the full capacity 8 megapixel or if we want to we can put it in widescreen at 6 megapixel reason for this is when we blow up our photographs on the screen they will look absolutely fantastic on the high definition quality so we make sure it's in 8.1 megapixels and now I'm just going to take a photo of my camera crew So now we've taken our photograph and this is now successfully saved on a memory card. If we just go back out, we can now share this with our home network. And this is done by using an application we downloaded from Marketplace called iMedia. Now, currently the X10 does not have DLNA UPnP built in, but this will come in an update later on in the year. So for now, we just download a little application called iMedia and you can do this from just the Marketplace and all of your ones installed will already be pre-installed with this application. So if we just go to iMedia, okay, we've got some very simple settings here. So Wi-Fi connectivity is available. We've already got these pre-installed so they connect up to your Wi-Fi router. Now once they're already connected to the Wi-Fi, we just click on local share. And then down here we've got a little button that says add. So we tap here and then it'll bring up a selection of all of our photographs that are on our memory card and the handset itself. So here is the photograph we just took. So if I just tap that, it'll then tick it, and then we click Add. So it will now add this photograph to our sharing folder on the handset. So then we go back to our server status and click the server is switched off. We turn it on, and this turns on the server on the handset and shares these type of photographs with your home network. So now, any other device connected to our home network on the Sony United pod will receive these photos. And that's exactly what we've got the Vio here for. So now if we go to the Vio, we have this beautiful video running which is to attract the eye of customers. 
they might come over, they see the video, they can watch it, it'll tell them everything about the stand. But if we just push escape, we can then minimize this video loop. And then you will see the standard Windows 7 layout. Now, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with Windows, we just need to bring up my computer or file explorer. So we just click down here and start. Okay, and click computer. Now, if you are familiar with Windows, you'll recognize this layout. This is just the standard Windows browser. And it will show you all your favorite locations. So if you're browsing documents, you would click here. It shows all your libraries, your music, and your videos. But in addition to Windows 7, you'll see down here we've got network. So this shows all of our network devices that are available to us. And of course, this is exactly what the X10 is using iMedia. So if we click on network, we will see here iMedia share on Android. So this is our X10 sharing over the network. We double tap this. It will automatically open in Windows Media Player because obviously it recognizes it's carrying some media. So it'll open the, win the media player. So we click on iMedia Share Android and we want to look at the photographs that we're sharing through the network. So all pictures. And you can see here all the photographs we've selected to share from our X10. And you can see at the top we have our photograph of our camera crew standing right behind you. So we're going to double tap this photo to expand it. And of course the benefit of this all connected up via HDMI between the Vive and the Bravia it means that we can really see our photographs in the full high definition quality that they deserve. So if we just expand this to full screen we can really show off the detail on the photographs taken in the 8.1 megapixel. So we can actually, as well as showing off the, share, the home network sharing technology, we can also show off the clarity of the 8.1 megapixel camera on the Xperia X10. So as well as displaying these photos in full quality, there are other benefits to sharing your photos over the home network. So we can back them up also. So these photos displaying on our bio screen now, we can copy them to the hard drive, from which of course we can then print them, send them away, email, or upload them to our Facebook profile too. So it's a great way of sharing connectivity and sharing our content without the need for any wires whatsoever.